this cow originally came from the U.S. or Canada because until May of last year, we've had a fully integrated cattle industry across an open border. Every year we've imported about a million live cattle, over a million live cattle from uh, Canada, and billions of pounds of beef. Thanks to NAFTA, the North American Free Trade Agreement, North America is one big cattle herd, one big feed store. Saying it's America's problem, excuse me, Canada's problem, is like saying the hole is in your side of the boat. Makes no sense. What about Mexico? If you look at the balance sheets, every year we send about 100,000 tons of slaughterhouse waste down to Mexico to feed to their animals. And you know, every year we import a million live cattle from Mexico. Anyone see a problem there? You know, one of the problems that English, as English pundits saw it, is that their Ministry of Agriculture represented the interests of both consumers and the meat industry. And a similar conflict of interest exists here in the United States. Right? The mandate of the USDA is promote agricultural products. At the same time, they're the ones who are supposedly in charge of protecting consumer health. They do the meat inspections, etc. In uh, the inclination of governments, excuse me, to suppress information contrary to business interests has been documented over and over. Inquiries into the mishandling of the whole BSE affair in Europe, set up by the European Parliament, accused the European Agricultural Commission and the British government of deplorable behavior, concealing the truth, serious omissions. And one of the many examples they cited in this massive inquiry was this internal memo leaked from the European Commission Department of Consumer Affairs brought to light by a leading French consumer publication. It was a, a memo described instructions given to the European Standing Veterinary Committee, which is like all the veterinary officials of all the European Union nations. And item one of the memo stated, quote, we must take a cold attitude towards BSE so as not to provoke unfavorable market reactions. No longer should BSE be spoken of, unquote. Item number two, we are going to ask the United Kingdom through official channels to stop publishing any more research results. Unquote. And the document concludes, quote, in a general context, this BSE affair must be minimized through disinformation. Better to say that the press has a tendency to exaggerate, unquote. The animal agribusiness industries in the United States continue to risk public safety, and the government seems to protect the narrow business interests of the corporations over its own citizens. Internal USDA documents we retrieved through the Freedom of Information Act show that even as early as 1991, for a decade ago, our government did consider a number of concrete measures to reduce the risk to the American public, including a total ban on the feeding of animals to animals recognizing that this would minimize the risk to the public's health, but the disadvantage of the approach, as they continued, quote, is that the cost to the livestock and rendering industries could be substantial, unquote. And indeed, plant sources of protein can be much as 30% more than slaughterhouse waste. But the Cattlemen's Association admitted years ago that they could indeed find economically feasible alternatives to feeding rendered cattle remains to livestock, but that they didn't want to set a precedent of being ruled by activists." Unquote. Is it a coincidence that USDA Secretary Veneman appointed as her chief of staff Dale Moore, who is the former chief lobbyist for the National Cattlemen's Beef Association, or that she picked Elisa Harrison as her official spokesperson? who was the prior PR director for the National Cattlemen's Beef Association, or that she appointed to her BSE expert panel, Will Houston, who was paid 25 grand to testify against Oprah Winfrey and try to convict her of beef disparagement. These are the experts that are advising our government. After a similar conflict of interest unfolded in Britain, they dissolved their entire Ministry of Agriculture and set up this independent food safety authority whose sole responsibility was to protect the public's health. This is what we should also do here in the United States, and that's been what's been called for by the 
Congressional General Accounting Office for years. That's what the Institute of Medicine for the National Academy of Sciences has been calling for for years. On CBS News, Prusner, the guy who won the Nobel, was asked if he thought in his darkest moment if mad cow disease was going to be the plague of the 21st century. And Prusner replied, quote, I don't need a dark moment to wonder if that's the case because everyone's wondering that, unquote. Until we learn from Britain's example, until the USDA stops treating this as a PR problem to be managed rather than a serious global threat, millions of Americans may remain at risk. Thank you.